I'm Jason Roselle. You're watching Get Inspired with Jason. Hey, this is Jason Roselle, and right now I'm here with Don Mugel from a new Don Wellness Center. How are you, Don? I'm great. How are you? Very good. I've been really excited about uh, interviewing Don for quite some time. I've been in Scottsdale, Arizona for about roughly two months, and me and my team, I'm not kidding, we were looking up every, and I mean every dermatologist, skincare specialist that focuses on PRP for hair growth, um, you know, uh, obviously Botox, uh, skin care uh, uh, procedures, and then hair removal. Of course. The list goes on. Right. So me and my team, we were just seeing all the reviews. And I got to say, Don, uh, um, I'm very excited to be here because you just wowed everybody. But what really made this interview happen is I came to meet her not too long ago and her personality and story blew my mind and as you guys know Aww. this show is called get inspired so today i wanted to interview you amongst thousands upon thousands of dermatologists skincare specialists because your personality is what really did it one thing when i met dawn um she says look my customers my clients are my friends they have my cell phone number they do and and, and you know <laughs> living in new york city living in, in in los angeles all these big places where you know i've i've worked with dermatologists for you know hence hello you know and now <laughs> eh, hello you know hello, <laughs> hello dame Mugel. Uh, uh, no what i mean is i want you to let the audience know a little bit more so you know at the end of the day there's so many people that they can go to right, right. you know you can pick up the yellow phone the yellow f the, jesus i'm old oh uh, we just dated ourselves <laughs> we just totally i did at least right uh no uh, it's so easy to grab your phone and just be like okay dermatologist botox this botox that what set this woman apart is she cares and when you care you're taking the business to a new level because you're connecting with people right so right. let's talk about you know, different things and procedures you do for people that, you know, need to know more than just the aesthetic. I want to look pretty. I want to have bigger li butter lips, you know, and I'm right. saying a little butter <laughs> lip, you know. Uh, I have a lot of those. <laughs> but people that say they've had scars. It's right. People that, you know, are going through some type of trauma. Tell us some stories that, have re that, that inspire others, you know. Sure. So uh, the story that comes to mind for me is not necessarily butter lips or butter lips, or, so good. <laughs> or aesthetics. To be totally honest, yeah, yeah. Um, because aside from aesthetics and looking, you know, your best yeah, and feeling yeah. super pretty, I also specialize in sexual health. Okay. So I'm very very passionate about um, female sexual health and men's sexual health. Yeah. And and one story that comes to mind was a patient of mine that. Um, she was a, a younger woman, but um, she, her entire life had, well, not her entire life, but for many years, mm -hmm. had been experiencing um, a vaginal odor that she thought was normal or natural and didn't know any better. And it had affected her entire life. She wasn't dating, she wasn't, um, she was just really uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. And when I saw her and had an opportunity to talk to her and really, just provide her with education that she hadn't had before. Not only was it treatable, not only could we get rid of it, um, but it was really emotional because it was something that wow. she thought she was always gonna live with, wow. um, that it would always affect her life. And it was yeah. emotional for me, yeah. thinking that if more people would just talk about the things that bother them or that they have questions about or that they don't know, right. if she would have asked a question of someone or felt comfortable enough to ask a question of someone you know, five years ago, think of all of that emotional trauma that could have been saved by her. So right, right. Um, I just think that, I think I have a different approach. I, I genuinely care about my patients. I care about the ones that wanna look pretty, sure. um, but I also care about the ones that just just need help, just want to talk to someone, um, have some other type of concern, mm -hmm. whether it, it doesn't have to be that same concern, but right. but certainly I hear a lot from patients about um, sexual health or dysfunction of some kind um, with their partners. And, and I just think there needs to be a place in general where people can talk to someone and feel comfortable having that conversation. Absolutely. I mean, I, I think uh, the audience can, can agree whether you're a male or female, you know, nobody wants to have bad B.O., right? <laughs> whether it's your mouth, whether it's your armpits, right. where you're shaking the la macarena, you don't <laughs> want to dance and say, hey, 
do you why are you walking around baby come back and they're like right all right so 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 this is a great tie-in by the way right okay good. great tie-in so okay if people were to look you up because i want to talk more about this this is sure. interesting we're going to talk about how to get rid of bad bo right so so this might be the title guys i don't know we, we're going to play with this what is your actual title like like would people know you as a doctor, a dermatologist? Like, what is your right. official title? I'm a nurse practitioner. She's a nurse practitioner, mm -hmm. right? And you're here in Scottsdale, Arizona. I am. So if you need a best friend, I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, but you see her personality, guys. And, and, and again, which drove me to why we're doing this right now. You care, I right? Do. And when you care, right, about people that come in, whether they're strangers or if you've known them, you build a relationship and it sets and it makes the experience, it just, you just set the bar so high, right? Yeah. Now, back to bad BO. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> and for only $49.95, no. Right. All right, so, right. so tell the audience, tell the audience a little bit, you know, what would be the top three tips for sure. a female sure. that is experiencing, I guess the title would be how to remove, how to what? An odor. How to remove mm -hmm. uh, uh, odors, right. uh, uh, you know, where they feel comfortable in their own skin. Right. Uh, so, of course, I should say a disclaimer, it depends what is causing the odor, okay? That is really important. Well, talk to us, what yeah. could cause it? So, sweat? So, well, um, Bacterial vaginosis could be one thing that's causing an odor. It's an odor that you cannot miss. Mm -hmm. um, it's definitely not just a you know sweaty odor. It is is certainly a very strong odor. Smells very similar. Not to ruin it for people who like tuna fish, but it does smell like a very Ooh. fishy odor. Yep, my, um, my friend told me about uh, you know, it's kind of like a when someone when someone opens up a, a can of tuna fish, right? right? Yeah, okay. it's that fishy odor. So if if you are experiencing a fishy odor, that would most likely be a bacterial vaginosis. What causes bacterial vaginosis? So it's an infection. Oh, it's an infection. Okay. Right. It is an infection. You would go get treated for that. Okay. Um, and that's where that odor is coming from. Okay. But a lot of times it is kind of a, so your, not your, I was going to say your vagina. Okay. A so woman's vagi vagina. <laughs> La mujer la vaginosa. That's in Spanish subtitles. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. So a, a vagina has a, a certain pH. Okay. Sure. So when that pH is changed, okay. then it's a breeding ground for bacteria. So why that's important is because you have a vagina that's one pH, okay. but semen is another pH. Okay. So if you kind of alter that pH, then you're more likely to get an infection of some sort. Okay. Um, so why that's important is because I know there's a shelf full of douching products, um, but honestly, a vagina is a, it's like a self-cleaning oven. It cleans itself. Right. So it balances its own pH. It does what it needs to for your body. I want to know, not to interrupt, yeah. or the audience might want to know this. Sure. How, do, how, how do, What causes a woman's pH balance to go off? It, like, I want to know. Right. Because I know you, you mentioned semen. So obviously, if, uh, you know, interaction with a male, right. there's semen. That's going to cause, that's one. That's one. Okay, so talk to the next one. What, what could be something, say the woman's... Lubricants. Lubricants. Uh-huh. Um, condoms. So... A lot of things related around just sexual intercourse can okay. change the pH. Um, and then certainly there's other things. It doesn't have to be bacterial vaginosis. There are yeast infections and other things that are very common that can be just from, let's say, let's say a woman works out every day and, and you know, you're sweating and you're in just a moist environment. Mm. Um, bathing suits, Arizona, lakes, you know, things like that. Um, and it doesn't, it, it's not dry, sure. um, then yeast can grow. Yeast can grow, So there, there's it. lots of things that can happen. There's a couple cool tricks um, that I'll, well, there's one in particular that I'll share with you. Okay, so that's what I want to get the, okay, yeah. audience, you, you know, you're, stay tuned here because, you know, a lot of women are experiencing this or maybe right. they will. So sure. how many tricks slash tips are you going to give them? So I want you to grab your pen and paper, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Yes, fellas, you want to get your own thing? If you got a little can of tuna fish, you want to... I'm just... I had, sorry, I had to. Um, um, so tell us, how many tips um, that will solve or prevent this type of uh, bacteria? Okay, so I'll, I'll give you one tip in particular that happens to be my favorite tip. Okay, uh, okay so this one... It's going to sound a little strange, but it, it definitely works. Okay, okay, so I call it a vaginal shooter. 
So what yeah. you do is you, <laughs> I know, so, well, Shoot. hey, okay. you know, yeah. okay, so um, a good probiotic. So, and I don't mean the ones on the shelf, I mean the ones in the refrigerated section, like a really good probiotic. A liquid probiotic. No, it's, they're, they're capsules. Oh, they're capsules. Yeah. Okay. They're capsules, and that's why I call it a shooter. So, ladies, if you're having any problems, let's say it's yeast or there's just something that's not quite right. Right. Um, you can get these probiotics. Okay. Uh, it doesn't matter the brand. I don't sell probiotics. So, you know, just pick a good one out of the refrigerated section because it has live bacteria, okay. which is good bacteria. And you're going to take this capsule, ladies, and you're going to insert it into your vagina. Interesting. How many capsules? Just one. Just one baby capsule. Just one. That's so it. So you just insert it. One a day. It. That's it. One a day. One for a day how until long? your symptoms go away. And it'll go away completely. Depending on what's wrong. So okay. in fairness, if if there's a yeast infection starting or or there's just some you know bacteria that's starting, you can try those probiotics. Okay. Um, once a day for let's say you try it for three or four days if your symptoms resolve great if they don't certainly you should see a gynecologist okay. just to make sure that there's not an infection that you need an antibiotic or treatment for but I have found that the uh, probiotic really does the trick because most of the time it's just kind of an overrun of bad bacteria right so if you can fight that with a overrun of good bacteria yeah why not it's interesting because I use probiotics not every day, but um, especially if I get a stomach ache. Right. Instead of taking like Tums or what have you, it's so natural. Orally. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or, or when I feel kind of off, I take it. So this is cool, okay. It's great, but you may as well put it where the source is. Why not? Right. Okay, uh, I'm just questioning, uh, guys have a, a you know male audience as sure. well. What, is there anything for men? I have great scent, I'm not asking for myself, I'm just saying. So if, is there anything for a guy? Maybe he has, I don't know, is there anything he say, what, is, what does he do? So I think for men, it's much more, it's much more about um, guys sweat Diet. a little more. They're a little more, you know, kind of moist or wet. So sure. it's a breeding ground for yeast. Moist and wet, you heard that guys. We're more moist and wet. <laughs> Oye como va. <laughs> Mi ritmo. Sorry. We had a moment here. We did, we did. We did. I agree. Okay, okay, okay. Fair enough, fair enough. You so, are. So for you and other men as well, the yeah. most important thing for you guys is um, clean and dry. Clean, clean and dry. Clean and dry. Okay. So if you're having trouble baby powder. Uh, staying dry, I wouldn't use baby powder. Uh, I'm not a fan of talcum powder. I don't want to name out any brands or anything, but there have been issues with talcum powder. Okay. Um, you can Google it and see it for yourself. Okay. Um, but... Uh, I will tell you another little trick instead of using something like yeah, that. By all means. Uh, you can use cornstarch. I know that Corn sounds oh. it sounds strange, right? You can even use cornstarch for a rash. Um, so cornstarch um, pulls all the moisture oh, out. Oh yes. So yes, let's yes. say you have an area. Let's talk about babies, okay? So we're yeah, so we're not, not. You know why not? Let's talk about babies. Uh, just you know how you get the moist folds in a sure, baby's sure. like between their legs or something, you can use cornstarch and it pulls the moisture pulls out and right. it helps the, the rash or the, you know, irritation to heal. So same thing for guys. Okay. You can, you know, obviously you know, showering daily. Sure. Um, but uh, cornstarch in any areas that you're having trouble keeping dry, it will stay dry and fresh. And Perfect. So give us another tip. Uh, so you already explained about probiotics for females. Yep. Um, what would be another thing? Say, you know, the girl is tried seven, 10 days, probiotics is not kicking in. What would be another remedy or trick? Okay, so, you know, I know everyone hates to talk about diet, but I know, oh, that, <laughs> I, I wanna call it something else so that people don't freak out when they hear diet. Right. Uh, lifestyle. But lifestyle definitely is a factor yeah, yeah. Um, in a whole lot of things, and you uh, would be an expert in that arena. Yeah. So lifestyle, the way that you eat, certainly high sugars, um, let's face it, bacteria loves sugar, mm -hmm. yeast loves sugar. Mm -hmm. I mean, all of those things, definitely sugar is a, a driving factor, and mm -hmm. as I'm sure you'll talk about at some point, carbohydrates in excess turn right. into sugar. I mean, so it's a vicious cycle, yeah. but certainly lifestyle plays a factor yeah. on okay. bacteria and other things. But, mm -hmm. but if you're doing probiotics and your lifestyle is good and you have some type of an odor or there is um, you know, some type of drainage or, or something that just doesn't seem right, a strong encouragement, either talk to someone that you trust that can give you some direction or some ideas or certainly can run some tests or see your gynecologist. Um, for men, it's a lot less likely that they're going 
men should never have a discharge. They should never have um, really foul smell when they're urinating or something like that. So right. if men are experiencing that, they definitely need to see a urologist um, to make sure that they are not, that there's not an STD that they're not aware of or prostatitis or some other type of infection going on mm -hmm, that needs mm -hmm, to be treated. Absolutely. And, and, and is there any one last tip if say the diet fails, probiotics up your kitty cat. I, I, I don't know how else to say, it's the truth. I mean, right? like, this is an adult audience, so right. you know. it is. It's the reality that we have to face. You right. know, what is the third and last option? You've done everything. Is there anything else you put on it, in it, around it? I mean, it depends what we're treating, okay? So it, if, if we're treating yeast, which would be discharge and itchy, okay? Yeah. They do have over-the-counter products that you can get for that. Um, that but you why, okay, you said, sorry to interrupt, you sure. said no douching. Why right. should not a woman douche if she wants to eliminate, you know, unpleasant odors? Because you're just putting a Band-Aid on the problem. Okay, so tell us so more about if, that. If there is an unpleasant odor, there's a reason. It's not just unpleasant because it's a vagina. Vaginas okay. don't have a natural, like, bad odor. Um, vaginas clean themselves. That's why we keep a, you know, a certain pH level. So, so everything stays oh, clean on it, its own. Does the douching destroy the pH uh, it, balance? It can change that pH. Oh. And by changing the pH is when you're then more susceptible to bacteria and other things. So That can cause an infection. Right. And not all women, uh, quite <clears throat> frankly, not all women are even using douches. I've spoke to some women that are taking their, their body wash and using their body wash to yeah. put up there, which would be really bad because now you're really throwing everything off. So, you know, it's important to be clean, you know, on the outside and clean everything really well. Right. It's, and it's just as equally important as it is to what you're putting inside of it. Absolutely. It's funny, it's the same thing. I, I, I cover a lot of things, uh, whether it be uh, hair care, skincare, by the way, stay tuned, because very soon I'm gonna be doing some PRP. Woohoo! Uh, you know, I don't wanna get into that too much, but <laughs> no, um, I love covering every, anything that has to do with lifestyle, skincare, hair care, right? Mm -hmm. and, and I tell I tell people all the time, I'm like, look, what you put in your body is equally as important as what you put on your body, oh, right? Sure. And, and a lot of these instruments, whether it's what, what you eat, uh, the type of uh, serum you use, the right, type of moisturizer, of you know, this is going to be really good. Uh, well, listen, I have a really good feeling in audience. You're going to have to let us know on the poll uh, that I'm going to be seeing you a lot sooner than later, not just for my treatments, but right. I actually really enjoyed uh, this interview with you. Uh, it went from me just saying, you know what? You're awesome. I want to interview you to like you have a lot of cool insight on different things and we have a lot of commonalities. For sure. So all I got to say is one, thank you, Dame Mugel. Thank you. For, for having the time, taking the time to, to, to inspire my audience. And I hope this inspires your audience. And, and would you be kind enough to possibly uh, do a couple more interviews in the future? Oh, I would love to. I would love to. I like that. Don't you like her girl? I, I was girls. Well, the guys, I know you're, <laughs> I mean, you know, okay. Can you tell the audience how many, guys, how many kids do you think uh, Dawn has? One, two, three, four. tell them. Three kids. Three kids. Three. Look at that. Bada. Boom. I was going to say, like, what you should have asked is if they could guess how old my ki oldest kid is. You're not going to believe it. Okay, when I met her, I thought she was like, no joke, between 32, 37, around okay. my age. I love it. Right? Tell them. My oldest son is 26 years 26. old. Holy guacamole. So this just tells you what you can do. Yeah. Um, when someone really knows what they're doing with Botox and filler and lasers and PRP and yes. you can turn back the clock. Absolutely. And I want my audience to know, uh, give them A, a your website, B, sure. your social, and, and, and just briefly, what all, touch on all the services you do for both male and female. Sure. So you can find me at anewdawnwellness.com. We're also on every social media platform, uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Uh, a new dawn wellness nice. and as far as services we offer pretty much for everybody botox filler 
uh, microneedling, PRP, where I draw your blood and use your own platelet-rich plasma Ooh. to put back in, which we'll do for hair restoration. Yeah, and, I, and that's for hair and skin, correct? Hair, skin, fine lines, wrinkles, you nice. name it. But what most people don't realize, you also can use that for priapus injections and O-shots, which I am certified in Scottsdale for. Priapus injections, it's uh, used for erectile dysfunction. You can improve oh. stamina. Um, all kinds of things sexual related, but is the cool part... Is it better than uh, taking uh, the blue pill that all the guys take? Oh, or? yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm talking uh, yeah, about? Yeah, I do. And I'll tell you why. Because what we regenerate uh -huh. is yours to keep. You won't uh -huh. have to stop and say, hey, hold on. Let me, oh. Let's break for a minute so I can take a pill and wait until I'm ready. Right. So um, this one, not only can we improve stamina and sensation and orgasms and um, all those which wonderful is a lot. things. Yeah, which is a lot. But you can also, a side effect to that uh -huh. that nobody complains about is size. You can increase size. We're averaging about three quarters of an inch, both length and girth. Whoa. Right. Ladies, you heard that? <laughs> if uh, Tommy Bahama is not giving to you, Oh my God, really? Okay, we're gonna do a separate episode on right. that. Okay, any other services they should know yeah, about? Yeah, we do the exact same treatment for women, O-Shot, okay. um, which will help with all, a gamut of things we can talk about when we do a sexual health series. Okay. Um, and then lasers, hair removal, skin resurfacing, um, oh my gosh, IPL. There's We have so many different treatments. We're gonna be doing uh, hormone therapy Jeez. and IV drip therapy and I could keep going on and, and on, on and on. And on. All right. right, well, ladies and gentlemen, you ha you heard it here first, a new Don Wellness Center located in Scottsdale, Arizona. We're gonna put the information, mention mention that you heard us maybe, and we might we, we might do a little dance for yeah, them. Like, of course, Oye, like como it. va? Ah, <laughs> mi ritmo. Guys, subscribe, <laughs> hit us with those thumbs up, go follow my girl Don, and keep it caliente, baby. Thank you so Thank much. You. Thank you, thank <laughs> you. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're a new viewer and don't forget to click on the bell so you can get notifications every time a new show releases. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and feel free to leave your comments. I'm Jason Roselle and you're watching Get Inspired with Jason.